Here with Junior Welterweight, uh, Ruben Dezuno. How are you doing today, champ? I'm doing pretty good. Fighting out of Arcadia, Florida. Uh, Going to be stepping into the ring next Saturday in Lakeland, Florida. Uh, Mad Integrity Boxing. Uh, talk about your fight coming up and how training been going. Our training's been going pretty good. Saw that, saw the sparring partners. Uh, we've been very happy with our performance. We're happy with with everything went this training camp. And uh, Yasmani, man, I, I've never seen him fight. Um, I'm hoping he brings a good fight for us, man. So we give the crowd what, what they what they come to see. Your fan base is building by the day. You know, Rasa. You know, your last fight, you came in real strong, won by knockout. Talk about that performance. Uh, yeah, man. I mean, speaking of the fans, I'm happy. You know, I'm happy the people that come to see me. That's that's just God's favor. And my last performance, man, um, it, it was actually pretty good, man. Uh, we went into the, to the fight thinking this guy was one and one, and uh, we hear his, his record's five and eight. But I mean, we, we prepared for the unexpected, and, and we seen a couple of habits he had in the first couple of seconds of the round. He was lazy with his jab, and I was able to capitalize on it. You know, talk about training camp again. You know, you've been sparring with great names. You know, Keith one time Thurman. Uh, some of these guys talk about how that's been going. Oh uh, man, Keith, Keith, I, I learned a lot, man. Especially defense, especially defense with the power that he packs. I, he taught me some defense. Uh, twin, man, a twin's aggressive fighter. Uh, I mean, not not too many people around here bring that bring that aggressiveness, and, and for him to be able to switch up, so it gives you different styles and prepare for unexpected. And um, even Edner, man, Edner's very well conditioned. That Joker, he'll, he'll give you a hard a hard sparring for as many rounds as you want. And Ojeda, man, Ojeda's a, a heavy-handed guy. Um, I mean, he, a great softball, man. And so just to be able to have the opportunity to spar with him, it's, it's really good, man. It's, it's, it's a blessing. Talk about the home cooking, how things are going with Coach, your trainer. And, uh, you know, let's talk about where your mental is preparing for this uh, fight next Saturday night in Lakeland. Um, well, I mean, my trainer, Miguel Santana, man, I mean, is truly a blessing. Him and his family, man, they, him and his family play a big part in my training camp. Uh, his wife, man, prepares the food. Uh, very healthy meals. I mean, they, they take real good care of me, man. I mean, matter of fact, I'm, I feel spoiled, spoiled with the Santanas. Um, it's actually uh, the last fight. Uh, they had they had to go against their people because the Santanas are Puerto Ricans, and I'm Mexican, and the guy I fought last was Puerto Rican. But I mean, that's just God's favor, man. Having having them in, in, uh, part of my life and and them helping me. You're moving at a pace that's a very good pace as a a, a prize fighter. You know, talk about you know how humbling it is to be where you're at, and what are some of your goals uh, through the year? Um, I mean, uh, I like I like where I'm moving, the way I'm moving so far. So far this this, uh, this year, I've had two two quick fights, and which I'm really grateful for. And um, I mean, hopefully, man, by the end of this year, I have I have at least six fights. And um, actually, for this fight, I wanted it to be a six rounder because I, I want to start fighting already eight, ten rounds, man. I mean, that's what I'm sparring. I'm sparring for to get ready for fights like that. I mean, because I mean, these these fights right now, I see them as sparring because it's, it's preparing me for the for the main fight, the ones that I re that really count. I mean, well, they all play a big part in your career, but I mean, I mean, it's you got to start early in your career training for the big fights, not not training for the big fight when you get to it. And uh, so hopefully by the end of this year, I have, I have at least four more fights and getting into the eight, eight rounders at least. Strength and conditioning, how's your weight a week before the fight and how do you feel? Oh man, uh, I just got off of training uh, before coming here. I, w I got on the scale, I'm 140. I mean, uh, I don't really struggle too much weight, man. I'm, uh, my weight's always at where it's at. I mean, not unless, that, I mean, if I go down to 135, it gives me a little problems, but uh, at 140, man, 140 is real easy for me to make. Uh, strength condition, man, it's it's awesome, man. It's like I said, uh, Miguel Santana, he was adding adding him to our to our arsenal, man. As a strength conditioning coach, really played a big part in my last fight, where I hit the guy, man. I didn't expect him to go down so easy, so I was I was really grateful for that. We appreciate this interview, Junior Welterweight, Ruben Azuna, and good luck next Saturday. All right.